it's this massive tome. You don't even know how to approach it. It just sits on your desk. You're like, man, I don't even know what to do with this. Uh, should I just flip to a cardio section? Like, what what should I do? The bookmark method essentially entails that you you set 20 pages per day as an average. So you start literally cover to cover. You read 20 pages, okay? You average 20 pages per day. Now on a given day, if you can squeeze in 22, then you write plus two on the bookmark. The following day, if you can manage 24, you write plus four, and that averages, that that totals plus six. And then let's say the following day you're so busy or it's a really dense chapter and maybe you're going through biochem, trying to memorize all the, like, the glycolytic pathways and stuff, and you can only get through 14, that's okay because the average, that's minus six, and so the average is for those three days, you still came out to 20 per day. So the bookmark method allows you to essentially uh, give yourself a credit so that plus one, plus two, plus three, et cetera, uh, so that the average never falls below 20 per day and also not reviewing uh, when you go through that first pass. So let's say you read 80 pages over four days and you say, well, of course I forgot everything I read in the first 80 pages. Like there's no way there's so much material. Of course I'm, I'm gonna need to review it. You know, I wanna do my Anki cards or uh, don't review that first. Don't review the first pass as you move through. You like, you literally have to go cover to cover um, and you have to have a certain level of acceptance that you're gonna forget things. That's the only way to get around the breadth of the material for the step one. Literally going cover to cover, not reviewing on that first pass. And you're remembering more than you think. Being comfortable with that first pass cover to cover, accepting that you probably forgot things, but then now you have the foundation to start questions.